hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video as you know that we have completed our animation for the player character and now in this video we will start working on our rifle so as you can see our player is holding down this rifle so we will create a different script for this rifle by the name of rifle and in that script we will configure things like damage range and fire rate we will also add a muzzle flash as you saw in the introductory video and also we will add an impact effect for example if we hit the enemy then we want to show the blood effect and if we hit the prone we want to show that sparkle effect okay so with this done right here in the scripts folder we will create another script by the name of rifle and open up this player game object then inside this body we have this tom gun mesh and we will simply drag and drop that script there and now let's open up the script in visual studio code right here we don't need this start function right here we will add few headers for different variables game objects and audio clips so the first header will be the rifle things right here we will store all of the variables for the uh, damage and the shooting range fire charge and etc etc then we will add a header which will be rifle ammunition and shooting then the next header will be rifle effect and then we will have a header by the name of sounds and ui so we are going to need a few variables for our rifle so firstly we want to adjust the amount of damage that our player or you can say the player rifle will inflict to our opponent or you can say the enemy so right here in the rifle things we will create a public float by the name of give damage of and by default set this equals to 10f we also want a shooting range because we want to hit that objects or enemies which will be in the shooting range okay we don't want to shoot to infinity levels okay we want to add a restriction on that so we will create a public float and let's name this as shooting range and set this equals to 100f after this in order to shoot we need to get some input okay for example the mouse left button right here in the update function we will say if input dot get button down and that button is the fire one and if you remember this fire one is the default button set by unity this button is attached to the left mouse button okay so unless you change this it is going to be the left mouse button so after this let's open up some curly brackets and in here we will type all of the shooting code but as you know if you type all of the shooting code in the update function then the code will be just inappropriate and some of you guys might not understand so for that we are going to create a different function for shooting and we will name that function as shoot now let's just copy this and after this update we will say void shoot and in here we will put all of our shooting code and as I told you in order to shoot we will use the raycast so let me just comment this out and in unity right here as you can see we have this main camera right here behind the player on the left side so what we will do we will be shooting out a ray cast and that ray cast will be invisible starting from this main camera and then in the forward direction in which the player is facing as you can see he is facing that side so it will create a raycast in this 
forward direction and we will restrict that ray cast to the shooting range okay 100 and if the ray cast hits something which is inside this shooting range then we want to show that object name for example if we hit this vehicle then we want to show the vehicle name and if we hit the enemy we want to show that enemy name so this is just a basic code for shooting and i hope you understand now how this shooting with raycast will happen okay it will raycast uh, invisible way from this main camera in the forward direction and that raycast will be restricted by the shooting range so for example if the shooting range is 100 and that is right here okay to this pole then whatever inside this shooting range get hit we will show that object name okay and then in the future videos we if we sh shoot the enemy then we will decrease the enemy health unless the enemy die so now in order to shoot a raycast from the camera we need a reference so right here in the script we will add another public camera and let's name this camera in small letters okay and if we now click on this Tom the mesh as you can see we have to give damage off and the shooting range and let's assign the main camera there right here in the shoot function let's go ahead and create a new raycast hit and let's name this as hit info and inside this hit info variable we will store all of the information about what we hit now after this in order to shoot out an array we will type inside the if condition physics dot raycast and we want to create an invisible ray from our main camera and this raycast need four parameters so the first one will be the camera so we will say camera dot transform dot position and then we want to raycast an invisible array in the forward direction so we will say camera dot transform dot forward and after this we want to know that what we hit so we will say out hit info and then we will restrict it the raycast by the shooting range okay so now whatever we hit inside the shooting range will be stored inside this hit info and then this hit info will tell us what we shot so this if condition will only occur if we simply hit something okay and for now let's just simply display what we hit so for that we will type debug dot log hit info okay and we will get the transform of whatever we hit and then we will get the name of that object okay and we will just simply debug or we can say print that out in our console so now let's save this get back to unity let me remove that and as you can see we have the camera and everything assigned let's simply play the game and now let's just shoot on this vehicle okay so now if we try to shoot as you can see it is printing out right here that we hit a truck okay now we hit this ground as you can see it is simply recasting an invisible array in the forward direction so for example now if we face here and try to shoot as you can see it shows that object 71 now 31 now let's hit uh, this lamp okay we need to lock our cursor okay let's shoot this one as you can see now 
it is showing all of the objects name as you can see we are now shooting the factory and all of that and now you know how this raycast will work okay so in this video we have added our shooting now in the next video we want to log the cursor and adding a cross here to our game so catch you guys in the next video